Greetings, Captain. Ikora briefed me on the Echo of Command. And while we AIs are constantly given commands we cannot refuse, I understand your problem conceptually. I have completed processing the various radiolaria samples you retrieved from Nessus. They contain no traces of abnormalities. Which is a huge disappointment. I was about to euthanize the samples when I realized we could mix nanomachines into the radiolaria and reintroduce it to the planet. The nanomachines will get torn apart, but at least we can track them for a while. Maybe that'll help us figure out what's going on. Tell me when you are prepared, and I will have no choice but to assist you. Kidding. I'd help anyway. All right, Captain. I've added nanomachines to the radiolaria that will allow us to track its progress down through Nessus. Please reintroduce the samples to the planet at the designated sites. Nanomachines away! I missed them already. Hmm. The natural flow is being altered. Uh, let me mark the next site for you. And they're off. Tracking. Captain, the radial area is being redirected deeper into the core of Nessus. I can hardly pick up the signals of my nanomachines. I'm calibrating the coordinates. Got me. They're moving through a previously unexplored area, and it appears to be heavily occupied. Prepare yourself for battle. Hey, Captain. You're heading into the deepest parts of the planet. Those nanobots can only tell me so much. You'll need to get down there yourself if I'm going to get any useful data. You are in unknown territory now, Guardian. Be ready. What did the Taken want? Why are they here? Taken are drawn to paracausal forces, and those with immense strength of will. But they're leaderless now. No king, and no witness. And Zebu Arath either doesn't possess the power, or doesn't have the inclination. All we can speculate is that they're drawn to the conductor. Since you released those nanobots into the radiolaria, I can track their movement through Nessus. I couldn't have done it without you. You know. I'm all the way up on the planet's surface. It's fun looking at this place through your eyes, though. Exploring. Sightseeing. Even after all these centuries, there's a lot of this planet I haven't seen. Thanks, Captain. The Vex mind is mounting a counterattack. Bypass. You're welcome. This was here the whole time? Failsafe did not know? Failsafe sensors couldn't reach this far beneath the surface of the planet. Now they can. Assimilating data. Wow. 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 This was here the whole time? Maybe. Or it could be something new. Something the Conductor built when they grasped the Echo's power. So, uh, speaking of, those nanobots aren't responding to my signals. There's a pretty high chance the Conductor hijacked them. It ends here, Captain. Sorry. It's alright, Failsafe. We can figure out another plan. Return to the helm, Guardian. Failsafe and I will coordinate and find out our next steps. Captain, I am attempting to locate a particularly interesting research specimen. I will re-engage my detection protocol. Location locked in. Oh, where is the specimen? It's supposed to be right here, I swear. Right to say, oh, you heard me do the beat boobs and everything. Okay, okay. Refining perimeters. Adjusting for the unlikely event of specimen locomotion. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. Ha! Gotcha! Captain.
Captain, the specimen appears to be biological in nature. Which explains how it was able to evade my earlier detection. Clever little thing. Captain, I am analyzing the latest research sample you brought me. And it is a frog! Technically, one of the Nessus proto-amphibians that developed adjacent to the Vex, but... Yeah. Pretty much a frog. I love him! Of course, I don't really know him yet, but he seems likable. I can finally bring my nurturing subroutines online. He should have a name! In honor of my original commanding officer, Captain Jacobson, I will name the frog Captain Jacobson. Don't worry, it's an honorary title. The frog will have no real authority. Oh, this brightens my day, especially after Ikora's concerning response to my theory on how I could locate the conductor. She was aghast. It seemed to cause her emotional distress. She asked me not to mention it to anyone else, so I won't. Thanks again for the frog. Guardian, there's something I should discuss with you. Something I'm reluctant to suggest to Saint and Osiris. I think you'll see why. Failsafe believes she could open a portal straight to the Conductor. She says she could extrapolate the coordinates by combining the new Vex data you've been collecting, with her years of observations of the Nessus Vex. But she would need to compare it against control data, gathered from Vex isolated from the Nessus network. She'd need an enormous amount of data, centuries of it, captured with perfect clarity and preserved by the Vex themselves. Her options are limited and dangerous. There is only one accessible database with that kind of fidelity. The mind of Saint-14, the deceased Saint-14 who is still laid to rest in the infinite forest. Our future may depend on Saint. Again. Guardian, since you found me, I have only doubted who I was once. When Mizrax recounted all his people, their children, feared me. It shook me. Osiris says that I am Saint Fourteen. My hands raised the wall. I walked with the Pilgrim Guard. How can I be a shadow of the saint who truly walked the city? When I remember the smells of the streets and the faces that smile, I met you on Mercury as I speak to you now. We fought together. I shattered the vags for centuries, but I lived where he died because we showed the vags that our fate could not be calculated, even in simulation. We surprised them, you and I. That is true. The conductor claims I am a man out of time, an approximation of reality. <laughs> Was I not this already? Hard metal and brittle memory, spark and cold 14 times over. Only my heart carried through. I know what it means to find myself again, but the conductor claims had Osiris not created the sundial, had I remained forgotten, Sagira would live still. How could these things be connected? If it is true, I will not take my love from him as well, for it is strong, and he will need it. 
You would not be afraid. You would know what to do. 